Hey everyone, so we're gonna continue with our multivariate regression model and testing our hypothesis. And remember, we wanted to know whether the coefficient on the returns of the Russell growth index is statistically significant. So remember, our null hypothesis was that the coefficient um, B1 is equal to zero, and our alternative hypothesis states that that coefficient was not equal to zero. So how can we test this hypothesis? We can use something called a t-test of significance. It looks like so. And so what, we, what do we have here? We have a regression estimate of B1. Um, that's the estimate here, 2.1074, minus our hypothesized value. And remember, that was zero. We hypothesized that it would be zero. And then finally, we have our estimated standard error of our coefficient. And so we can do the same thing with our second slope coefficient on the Russell value index. So first we need to do is so let's just plug this in. We'll just take results.params. We want to look at the Russell growth index and see that coefficient first, 2.10. And also if you want to look at the coefficient on our Russell value index, it's negative 0.75, just like so. Now, before we begin, we need to determine our t-critical value. So for us to do that, we need to understand the number of observations and determine our degrees of freedom. Since this is a two independent variable regression, we've estimated three coefficients. And those three coefficients, remember, are these regression coefficients are the constant, the Russell growth, and the Russell value. So those are our coefficients. So we just need to take to determine our degrees of freedom, we just need to take our number of observations was 36 minus 3 equals 33. So we can see that there. And so we know our degrees of freedom is equal to 33. And there's one of two ways that we can do this. We can look online for at a T table and find our T critical value and just put in our degrees of freedom and input our significance level. But we can also do this using Python. So we're going to import or from SciPy, import stats. And then we can just say stats.t.isf. And we need to determine our confidence interval or our significance level. We want to have a 95% confidence level. That's equivalent to a significance level of 0 0.05. But remember, this is a two-tailed test. So because we are looking at a null hypothesis of zero and an alternative hypothesis of not equal zero. So since it's a two-tailed test, we're just going to divide by two. So that's going to be 0 0.025. And then we just need to input our degrees of freedom, 33. And there's our T critical value of 2.03. So again, we want to find the absolute value of T. If it's larger than this T critical value, we can reject the null. And that is the null that the coefficient is zero, so coefficient is zero. Otherwise, we cannot reject the null if it is smaller. And so let's now determine this t-value, t-statistic. So we can, again, take our results, dot params, and look at a one. And then we're going to subtract it from zero, because that's the hypothesized value that we believe it to be. And we're going to divide it by our standard error of the estimated coefficients, and you can just say BSC. Again, what is the standard error of the estimated coefficient? That is here, like so. So we're going to just take divided by 0 0.44. And we can get that by just taking results.bsc1, and that's going to get 4.75. And that should be the t value that we get out of our regression results, and it's 4.75. So we know we did the right calculation here. And how can we interpret this? 4.75 is larger than our t-critical value of 2.03, so we can reject the null that the coefficient on the Russell growth index equals zero. So in favor of the alternative hypothesis that the coefficient does not equal zero. Um, we can also do the same thing for our second co slope coefficient of B2. And so we're just going to take this results, but I'm just going to use element value of 2. And we should get negative 1.59. Let's verify that was the regression results. T value, negative 1.59, 8. And it, that is smaller than our T critical value of 2.03. So given a 0 0.05 significance level or 95% confidence level, we cannot reject the null hypothesis that B2 
is equal to zero in favor of the alternative hypothesis that B2 does not equal zero. This infers that our multiple regression, it suggests that the returns to ARC are very closely associated with the returns of the Russell growth index, but they are not related to the Russell value index. And that's because the Russell value index, our T value is not statistically significant, but for our Russell growth coefficient, it is statistically significant. So if you like this video, please subscribe. Till next time, thank you.